Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I have another Timu haul to share. I've got a piece of clothing, I have hair pieces, some kitchen items, LED beauty devices, and then we're gonna finish off with a beautiful piece of jewelry at the end. As usual, I'll include links to the items in my description box, as well as my affiliate link and my affiliate code for new users. All right, let's get started. So before I show uh, the new piece of clothing item that I got, I just wanted to mention this uh, vest that I'm wearing. I hauled this previously in a larger size, which I ended up returning. I then bought it in the smaller size. So I love this, this uh, sweater vest. I also have it in black and I have now ordered it in the khaki color. This was $24.67 when I purchased it. However, I got a $13.55 price adjustment, so I got a super deal on it. So, and then also the khaki one that I've ordered, I got for around $12. So if, if it's something that you like, for sure check out the, the listing on it because they seem to be kind of rotating what color is the one that's the cheapest. So some of them end up back up at the regular price and others are like low and then the next day it'll just be a different color that's that's super cheap. So I'm still holding out on the peacock blue colored one. <laughs> they just don't have it in my size. So, but I'm hopeful that they will get it and hopefully it'll be on deal when I get when they have it. So just wanted to give that little update on this. You can get an awesome good deal on on this uh, if you just kind of watch the listing and uh, see if it goes on sale. So the new item that I have to show today is this plus size top. I paid $18.97 for this. I did get a bit of a price adjustment. It is currently $18.48. It is available in sizes 1XL through 5XL and it's available in three colors. You can get it in black, a dark gray, or this blue color. The material is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. This actually feels like really nice material. It just feels like regular kind of t-shirt material. It is nice and soft. I really like the feeling of it. It is maybe a little on the thin side, but the fact that it's not a super light color, it's not really that big of a deal especially like I mean the other two colors being black and gray like it wouldn't be a problem at all with them this is like the lightest color you can get so it does have uh, a couple of pockets it has a pocket on each side at the front so there and there it does have a bit of a cuff at the bottom of the body and it also has the long sleeves there is no sort of cuff it's just hemmed at the bottom of the sleeve this is a top that does not have a seam down the back, which is awesome. I, I prefer it when my tops don't have a seam down the back, but a lot of Chimu ones seem to have that. But yeah, I really like this. I bought it in the 4X. I would say that it probably does fit a little big. I often end up buying a 5X in tops off of Timu just because I'm kind of right in between the sizes. So if I'm concerned at all, if it's a longer top that it's going to fit my butt, I tend to order a 5X. So I'm honestly, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe in the reviews uh, there was people saying that it fit big and that's why I went ahead with the 4X. But I'm glad I did because it definitely, it definitely fits. And uh, if so, if you're ordering this, you could probably size down if especially if you don't carry most of your weight in the butt hip area like I do so really do like it you'll see in the try on clip yeah it's I mean it's nothing <laughs> let's let's be honest it's nothing special really <laughs> but yeah I, I like the material it's gonna be nice and comfy and I think it's well put together so yeah I do recommend this my next item is this braided nylon watch band. This is for my Apple Watch. If you've seen previous videos of mine, uh, I have hauled watch bands before, especially this type with this material. I've hauled ones that weren't adjustable, as well as one that was adjustable, but it just had a sliding clip. 
Anyway, this one I paid $4.39 for it. I did get a price adjustment. Currently it is $3.72. So um, I haven't wore this one, but as far as how the clip goes, it's kind of almost like a regular watch band clip. So this piece here, you need to kind of pop open I, in this little spot here, you have to pop it open so that you can move this. And then the other end is just a clip that kind of catches over the bar and then snaps closed. So that definitely should be a more secure adjustment for this band, which was my issue with the other adjustable one I got, but it just kept loosening off. So I do really like it. And after I wear it a couple of times, if I'm happy with it, that it's not sliding or anything, which I really can't see how it would, then I'm definitely probably gonna go back and order more of these. Uh, it comes in five different colors. It comes in kind of a blue gray color, a pink, a white and the black. So there's not a ton of colors. I'm not sure if maybe there's another seller that maybe has more colors available but I, I I didn't I didn't see it when I was looking so it also comes in the two sizes so which it's just this part that that affects as far as the size so it's meant for fitting different sized watch faces so there is a size that fits a watch face that is 38 40 and 41 millimeters and then the other size fits watch faces that are 42, 44, 45, and 49. The strap is adjustable from sizes 5.9 inches up to 9.2 inches. It seems like great quality. Um, I, I think I'm gonna be really happy with this strap. The next item we have is this set of headbands. I paid 248 for these. They are currently 247. This was the only set that was available from the listing that I purchased from. So it was just a set of three and there were only these colors. Now, in my opinion, the picture looks more like it's black, kind of a cream color and a brown. Whereas to me, this is more, this is definitely an orange, it's not brown. So that was a little disappointing because I, I mean, I don't tend to wear orange. I guess that's what you get when you're shopping online. You know, the colors that things look online might not be exactly what you end up getting. So these are just plastic headbands. So there is lots of give to them. I did try it, uh, one on and it seems pretty comfortable. It, like I said, has lots of give. So I can't imagine that it's gonna be like squashing my head or anything. So I think they'll be good. I'm just not sure if they'll necessarily be super durable. It's just uh, kind of cheapish plastic. So who knows whether the teeth might break off or whatever, but for you know a couple of bucks for three headbands, however long they last is, is fine by me. So my next item is a mannequin head or wig stand. This was $22.49 when I purchased it and that is still the price for it. You can get it in four different sizes, 21 inch, 22 inch, 23 and 24. And that's in reference to like the circumference of the head. It did come with a clamp for attaching it to, like it has a hole on the bottom here. So the clamp has a part that goes into that hole and then you can just clamp it onto a table. <laughs> Don't know what I've done with it, to be honest. It, it might be buried under stuff. It also came with a wig cap, which I'm pretty sure I threw throughout and then just these little t-pins I think they call them just for you know pinning your hair piece to the mannequin to help with probably just to keep it on there partly and then also for if you're styling hair it'll just keep it secure on there so this is just like a canvas material over what I can only assume is probably probably just polystyrene I didn't say it in the listing, but it's it's super lightweight. So the next few items that I have are hair toppers. I have very thin hair. <laughs> I had cancer about 10 years back and had to get chemo. So I lost all of my hair then. 
and it really didn't come back the way it had been before. I had pretty thick, um, more coarse textured hair and it came back super thin and it's pretty fine. I also since then have developed hypothyroidism, which losing hair is also a side effect from that. So I really don't know if, if it's all due to one thing or the other, the lack of hair, <laughs> or whether it's a combination. Anyway, I do have some photos that I will insert of my hair or lack of hair. <laughs> um, so it's definitely receding and very thin uh, on my crown at the top of my head and stuff. So I have purchased a few different toppers. I've purchased some that I've just gotten and returned immediately. And this one here was the first one that I had gotten that I was happy with. So this is a 100% human hair topper. I paid $39.59 for this when I purchased it. It is currently $44.49 for the color that I got, which is just called brown. The prices range from about $43.99 to $53.99, depending on the color that you're getting. It is available in seven different colors. You can get it in black, dark brown, brown that I got, reddish brown, light brown, gold, a gray brown, which is, I guess, to kind of like if you're sort of at that in-between stage that you're starting to go gray, but you still have some of your natural color. And then one that just says mixed color. It is 10 inches in length and it has a Swiss mesh base, which I really don't know a lot about hair pieces and wigs, so I don't know exactly if that's what makes that a good thing, but anyway. And the base of it is about four and a half inches by just over three inches this way. So with it being human hair, you can curl it, you can straighten it, you can dye it, you can bleach it. Um, I have actually did, I did actually put a little bit of a hair color on this myself. Uh, I'm not sure if that was a smart idea because I do think it probably dried it out a little, but it was just a little off. Like my natural hair has red to it, so it just didn't have much redness to it. I probably, maybe I should have ordered the reddish brown, but I have been super happy with this. I am always wearing one in my videos. Uh, this is the one I'm wearing right now is this one, except that it has been curled or put a little bit of wave in it. So um, I do have photos of me with this on to show it on and then, you know, kind of a view from the top of the head just to kind of show. I do feel like it looks natural on. Um, my only issue with this is just the fact that I, I wish the base was bigger and, and that there was maybe a little bit more hair. So, like I said, I, I, I am happy with it. I definitely would recommend it. I just wanted something that would provide a little bit more coverage, which brings me to my next one. So this is the packaging for the, the next one. And this one was $58.49, but I did get a price adjustment of $12.88 on it. So did get a good price adjustment. Currently the prices range from $58.49 to $60.49, depending on the color you're getting. It is available in seven different colors. You can get black, dark brown, medium auburn brown, a mixed color, medium brown kind of roots that then goes down to like more of a dark blonde at the bottom, an iced blonde and a honey blonde. So, and this is this one. And I got the medium auburn brown, I believe. So this one is 12 inches in length. So a little bit longer than, than the last one I showed. It also has a slightly bigger base. So this base is I believe it's four and a half wide and about five long. So again, this is human hair. So it also can be uh, flat ironed, it can be curled, 
it can be dyed, it can be bleached. This one uh, is one that I've gotten relatively recently, so I haven't actually done much with this one. The color is a little bit lighter. <laughs> I, I'm using the, the topper I'm wearing as kind of a comparison because it's really pretty much my hair color. So this one is a bit, you know, a bit lighter. It doesn't have a lot of red to it. So I may add some dye to this one as well to make it a little redder or I'm not sure what else I could maybe use that maybe wouldn't be likely to damage it. So I'm also super happy with this one. I just need to work on the color. Um, I also need to probably pluck the hairline, the part a little bit to make it look a little more natural and, and maybe add some concealer on the hair on the part as well again to make it look more natural so I haven't done that with it this one came with there's a little pamphlet it came with a comb an extra clip that you can attach or I guess if you want an extra one or I guess if one came out or whatever as well as some thread and needles for attaching again I will insert some photos of this me wearing this one from the front and also a top view just to kind of show the part but like I said I haven't actually done anything on this one to kind of work on the part so a lot of times you have to kind of pluck it because it's a little a little too too close together the part and use a little bit of concealer or makeup on the part line just to make it look more like your natural scalp but yeah I I've been very happy with the hair pieces that I've gotten from Timu. Price-wise, uh, I think they're a great deal for what you get. I haven't really purchased hair pieces elsewhere, but I know they can be very, very expensive. So I am happy to purchase them on Timu and uh, get them for a better price than I would elsewhere. So this next hair piece is synthetic. And I wasn't sure about trying a synthetic one, but I had heard that with synthetic ones, if they're a little shiny looking, that you can use dry shampoo just to tone down the shine. So I thought I would go ahead and try. So this is a long hair piece. It is 18 inches long. The synthetic ones are significantly cheaper. So this one was 16.19 when I purchased it. It is currently 17.99. It is available in six different colors. You can get black, coffee, dark brown, which is what this is, reddish brown, bronze, and earth yellow. So this is, a, I ordered, I've actually ordered this twice. I ordered this one and it was, it's too light. It's not my color. So I then asked to return this and they said just to keep it and gave me a refund. And then I ordered the coffee because that's the next darkest one, or at least that's what I figured. And when I got it, it was way too dark. So I returned that and that time I had to actually send the item back. So I have kind of looked at it again and, and I'm wondering if the reddish brown almost might be slightly darker than, than this dark brown one. So I may give it a try. I don't know it's it's hard for me to tell <laughs> whether or not like you'll see photo of me wearing it I don't know if it's just because it's so much more hair than what I usually have that I feel like it looks a little odd but or a little obvious that it's not my hair but I'm not sure the reason I decided to try this one is because it has a significantly larger base so this is like six and a half by six and a half. So you get a lot more hair. And I, I was thinking that if it worked that I would probably cut it because I don't need this much hair. <laughs> so, but it just, it's not the right color. And I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know whether or not cutting it would look okay or not. I mean, I'm not gonna really wear this one because it's not the right color. So. It, before I maybe order another one, I guess I could <laughs> do some experimenting with this one to see. But with it being synthetic, I you know, you can't color it. 
Um, it didn't say anything. There are some synthetic ones that'll say that they are heat resistant, so you can potentially do some curling and stuff. This didn't mention anything in the listing, but in the reviews, there was someone who said that they tried curling it. They just used a low temperature. They did, I think they said like 265 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and it did curl. So, I, I mean, I'm not that bothered if I, if I wouldn't be able to curl it anyway. I do think it is a nice pair piece. I mean, it's like under $20, like it's it's pretty nice. I did notice more today that there seems to be quite a bit of like kind of short hairs here that, I don't know, like it's a little strange, like they kind of stick straight out. So, but I mean, I think I could probably go through and pluck that out anyway and then pluck the part. So like I said, I'm not gonna wear this because it's not the right color for me, but I might do some experimenting on it and see whether or not I could maybe make it work um, style-wise, you know, if I could clean this up a bit to make that look better, give it a cut, haircut, and see how it looks. And if it works out, then I might go ahead and try that reddish brown one and see how it is. But as far as experiences I've had, even things that I've returned that I've um, purchased and then ended up returning, it's I didn't return them because of the quality not being good. I returned them just because they weren't the right color or, you know, I got one of the ones that are more like a halo sort of thing. And that doesn't work for me because really it's right at the top of my head where my hair is thinning the most. So... I definitely think their hair, their, you know, hair pieces are excellent for, for what you're paying. So definitely recommend if it's something that you want to try or if you kind of need and you've been buying elsewhere and paying a lot more money, definitely give Timo's a try because, you know, I think they're great quality. So next we're moving on to some of our kitchen type stuff. And the first item I have is a butter dish. I paid $13.08 for it. It is currently $18.89. It is available in six colors. You can get black, white, navy, red, yellow, and then this one's called Tiffany Blue. So it is made of ceramic and has a bamboo lid. It does have a silicone seal around the lid, so you get a good seal with it. It seems like great quality in my opinion. I like that it comes with the little butter knife. The handle is the matching color to the butter dish. It feels like a nice quality. It's not like super flimsy. It has like some weight to it. So, and then just the cutout on the top of the lid for storing the butter knife. So I, I'm thrilled with this. I think this is am amazing. The only thing is it's, Size wise, I didn't actually try it yet, but size wise, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't hold a whole pound of butter. Uh, I don't think it's deep enough. I think it's probably wide enough, but I don't think it'd be deep enough to be able to fit the lid on. So it's probably more intended to have like, you know, a couple of sticks of butter in it maybe, but um, I, that's fine. Um, I'll just buy, you know, a pound of butter and cut it in half or something. So, but yeah. I, I think the quality of this is great. I love that, you know, the little design on it, the texture to it. They have other ones on Timu as well, and they like that say on it butter, and I don't know, I didn't want, <laughs> I didn't want one that said it would butter on it. I just wanted one that was plain. So I am really, really happy with this. Definitely recommend it. Absolutely love the color. So the next kitchen type item I have is this it's stainless steel soap. So you just get the little bar of soap, I guess. It's, so I paid $2.79 for this one. It is currently $4.49 for the size that I got. This is the bigger of the two sizes that are available. The smaller one is currently $3.99. So like I said, this is the big one and it is about three and a half inches long and about two inches wide. The smaller one is about two and a half long by 1.85 wide. So it came with, you know, a little dish, which 
really is like super cheap plastic. I haven't ever actually tried one of these before. What, if anybody doesn't know what it is for, they're meant to remove odors from your hands, like of like garlic or onion or so, whatever. So if you've been cutting onions, then you can just, you know, use some water and rub this on your hands and it's supposed to remove the odor. I, I haven't tried it, but the comments or reviews seem to be positive that it does work. And I know I've heard of this type of item before that it does actually work to remove the odor. So I'm super happy with that. Just leave it at my kitchen sink so that I can use it if I'm cutting up onions or something and we'll see whether or not it works. I'm hopeful that it does. The next item we have are some chopsticks. So I paid 75 cents for these. I'm not sure why I thought that I was getting more than one set other than the fact that the picture showed about 10 pairs. I don't know why I thought I would maybe get 10 pairs for 75 cents, but anyway. So the listing that I purchased this from though currently doesn't have that you can buy just one set of them. Now they only have that you can buy the set of 10 and they are $5.94 to buy the set. So I'm not sure why that would be. I don't know why they would have changed it from when I purchased it. So these are made from food safe fiberglass. So they are reusable and dishwasher safe. They have a little design etched into them. It's supposed to be a cherry blossom design. They are about nine and a half inches long. They are really lightweight. They are heat resistant and it says, you know, that they're easy to clean. So I do like them. Um, I don't really <laughs> use chopsticks. The reason I bought them is because my daughter's partner, when they were here last time, we had ordered Chinese food and they had asked if we had any chopsticks and we didn't. So as I said, I thought I was getting a set of 10 pairs. <laughs> so that's why I ordered them. Ultimately I got one pair, so, but yeah. So now we have chopsticks. <laughs> the next item is a silicone funnel set. I paid 89 cents for the set of two. It is no longer available, or it wasn't available in this color for the set of two the last time I looked. Currently you can get the, a pink set for $1.67 or a green set for $1.87. So on the listing, you can also purchase just an individual funnel. I tried looking, I don't even know what size it is because these are two different sized funnels. So if you're buying one, I'm not sure which size it is you get. Or you can buy, like I got a set of two, or they have a set of six, which gives you the small and bigger size of each color. So you get these like two blue, two green, two pink. So. The larger size is about two and a half inches across. The smaller one is just over two inches across. And yeah, they are collapsible. So, you know, to use them, they're a little bit squashed from getting here. So, but you just pull them apart to, you know, expand them and then just kind of squash them down to fold them back up again. Currently, like I said, they, they've gotten a little squashed in transport, so they're not uh, opening and closing down as easily as uh, they probably will once they've had a chance to recover from the journey here. <laughs> anyway, 89 cents. Honestly, they don't feel the greatest. You know, it's, it's kind of kind of feel a bit more plasticky than silicone. I wouldn't be surprised if it's more of a mix than straight silicone, but they were 89 cents, so I'm not gonna complain. And I'm probably only gonna be using them for craft stuff, so. Next we have a pot lid lifter. I paid 89 cents for this. It is currently a dollar four, and it's a cute little carrot. <laughs> so. The listing I purchased it from, this was the only design that they had. There are other designs if you check other listings. 
usually like if you see this one usually the listing has uh two other ones which i think one's like a pepper and i'm not sure what the other thing oh it's a chicken leg <laughs> so but it's made of food grade silicone so and it is heat resistant it's about two inches long by about an inch wide and it's just meant to you know clip on the edge of your pot to stop your lid from closing down if you're when you're boiling stuff so if you're needing something to simmer and you want the lids not to to close shut completely and potentially boil over you can just put this on the edge of the pot put your lid resting on top of that and you know it's not gonna be able to close so I thought it was cute I thought it was definitely gonna be useful I uh, hate when I end up with uh, stuff that boils over and gets stuck all over my uh, stovetop so yeah so next we have a package of Swedish dish cloths I paid $6.29 for the set of five and it is still $6.29 if you want to purchase the set of five they do also have a set of 10, which you can get for 10.84. These are made from 30% cotton and 70% cellulose or wood pulp. So they are eco-friendly and reusable and biodegradable. So this is what they look like. I've never used these before. I've heard that they're great, so it really does feel like a thick piece of kind of foam paper. I, I don't know. So, but apparently when you wet it, it gets nice and soft. It is super, supposed to be super absorbent and you can just throw them in the laundry and you should be able to get about 50 uses out of these of washing them and, and then being able to reuse them before you kind of have to toss them so and then they do break down if you put them in like a compost pile or whatever they will break down they are like i said supposed to be super absorbent they're supposed to dry very quickly and they're not supposed to hold odors so yeah i'm looking forward to giving it a try and uh we'll definitely repurchase if they seem good so and they're cute little cute colors. They come like a little rainbow, which is cute. Okay, so this next item, I don't know. I, I was expecting maybe a little bit better. They are wearable mop slippers. You can also, rather than wear them on your feet, you can just put them over top of a, a mop. You could, I'm sure it would fit over top of like a Swiffer head these were 254 when i purchased them they are currently 449 you can get them in five different colors there is blue purple green pink and then this one was called coffee but i mean it's kind of a i really i thought it was burgundy based on the picture i didn't really read the name of the colors so i was expecting kind of a burgundy color but no they're brown it's kind of an ugly brown in my opinion but you know, if you're cleaning floors, they're going to get dirty. So I guess the brown color is not necessarily a bad idea. They are just under 12 inches long and just under, well, just about four and a half inches wide. They are not, not good quality in my opinion. I mean, I pay 254 and I'm like, eh, I don't, they're definitely not worth that. So I definitely wouldn't be buying them at 449. I haven't tried them yet, but I mean, I'm sure they'll work. Whether they'll even fit over my feet or not is questionable, but I can definitely put them on my Swiffer. I, I mean, I'm sure they'll pick up some dust and dirt, but yeah, I don't, I, I don't recommend them. They're, I don't know, they just feel so incredibly cheap. Yeah, I don't know, they're just threads coming off of them and yeah <laughs> I don't don't recommend these so now we're moving on to beauty devices and the first item is this LED light therapy device it has four modes on it I paid $12.63 for this it is currently $19.67 so 
of the box. You get a little instruction thing. You get a charging cable and then the device. Just, you know, charge this up. And then the bottom one is the power button and the mode button. And then this one here controls the vibration that it has. So if we just press and hold this, it will come on. It has a blue light, which is supposed to be good for rejuvenating your skin. It has red light, which is supposed to be kind of like giving you a facelift, like tightening and stuff. And then the purple color, which isn't very visible on camera, is supposed to improve wrinkles. And then there's the fourth one that has no light, but it provides a EMS microcurrent, so electrical muscle stimulation microcurrent. It also has three levels of vibration, so um, you can have it on one, two, or three with each of the different settings. So you can have it on the, the blue light and have like just a little bit of vibration. And uh, it doesn't, change the intensity of the light it just isn't changing the intensity of the vibration although i do have to say <laughs> that on the electrical muscle stimulation setting it, it did feel like it was a stronger current but it probably it probably wasn't so but yeah so you just put it on you know whatever setting you want it on so we'll start, we'll do the blue light and we'll put it up to the second level and then you just do this sort of thing. You can use it on your face. So it recommends that you do it for about 10 minutes uh, twice a day and you can change, you know, what setting you're using it on. You could do, you know, the blue light in the morning and then do like red light in the evening or something. So. I've used this a couple of times. I haven't used it consistently, but I did do some sort of before pictures <laughs> today. So uh, I did makeup free pictures of me forward facing and then from a side view. So I my plan is to try to consistently use this for maybe the next month or so and then do a follow-up video to, to let you know how it was, you know, how it worked, if I noticed a difference, and also I will take after photos so that you can also see if if it did anything. And then, so, and anyway, if you're to turn it back off, you just press and hold the button and it will turn off. So it did charge pretty quick, so that's a good thing. It didn't, it was pretty much dead when I went to try it and I didn't have to have it plugged in for very long and it was showing a full battery, so that's good. So this this next one is, is quite the interesting looking contraption. It is a actual face mask with LED lights. So I paid, I got a good deal on this. I got this for $16.63. The current price for it is $32.48 and it has seven colors of light therapy. So it also comes with a little pamphlet, although there's not much information in there. And of course the charging cable, it comes with a strap that is adjustable. There's Velcro, Velcro on the straps. And yeah, so <laughs> it's kind of scary. Anyway, so as I said, it has seven LED light colors. It has red, which is supposed to be anti-aging, help produce collagen and combat wrinkles. Then there is green, which is supposed to give even skin tone, reduce hyperpigmentation and anti-inflammatory effects. There is blue that is supposed to soothe inflammation and combat sensitive skin purple for cell rejuvenation and reduce inflammation and improve acne. Yellow is supposed to reduce melanin, alleviate redness and stimulate, stimulate your lymphatic system. And then cyan, which is supposed to heal sun damage and inflammation and reduce pigments and release stress. 
and white, which is supposed to accelerate healing and growth of skin cells and speed up your metabolism. So it just has a one touch button. So you press it and it will come on. And then you just touch this to change the colors. So there's red, green, blue, purple. This is the one that's supposed to be, I guess, yellow to me it still looks green a lighter green but still looks green but then that is the cyan color and then this is the white and then you just press and hold to shut it off again it does shut off on its own so you can use it and you just start it up put it on and it will run when I was looking at all I was seeing was 15 minutes, but I, I was sure I'd read somewhere before that it's 20 minutes that it goes on for it before it shuts off on its own. But I, I'm not really sure, but 15, 20 minutes around about there. You can also, after you go through all the different colors, after you, the white one, if you press it again, it's supposed to run through all of the colors during the time frame. So it'll start out on the red and then it'll just after however much time it'll switch to the green and, and it'll just go through all the colors so i haven't tried that yet i have tried uh the red and i tried blue i think it was so just a couple of times i've tried it but like i said is with the last item i'm gonna do the same with this i'm gonna try it out for maybe about a month and see if i can see a difference take some after photos so i'm hopeful not that I'm not that I'm not concerned about my skin like I don't necessarily have uh, real issues with my skin that I'm hoping to improve but you know I'm sure as I keep getting older it's gonna get worse so if I can prevent some stuff maybe that'll be a good thing so this next item is just some facial serum and I wanted to have this to use with the LED devices they do say that they will help, I guess they help each other. The LED light will help um, this absorb more into your skin. And therefore with having this product on also, it, it, it just helps the light penetrate more. So they help each other. So I paid $3.59 for this. Currently it is $3.99. It is a pretty small bottle. It's 17 mils of serum. The listing I purchased it from, this was the only item that they had on there, but there are other products in the same line, the Sakura line of facial products. So like there's like facial cleanser, there's moisturizers, there's toners, like there's a, a bunch of different stuff. And they actually, like some sellers have like little gift sets. So the serum is supposed to even your skin tone. It's supposed to provide skin rejuvenation and tighten your pores. I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna use this along, like I said, along with the LED things and do a little test and see if it makes a difference. The reviews seem to be good on it. I, anybody that whose comment I read seemed to be very happy with it. People have said they've repurchased it. They said it is nice lightweight that it absorbs well and leaves their skin very smooth and soft. They said it was, yeah, it's a nice scent. It's nice, it's a very light scent. So, and people on there are also saying about, you know, that they have sensitive skin and that they didn't have any issues using this. So I do really like the smell of it. I, I may purchase some more of this line of stuff. We'll see how We'll see how my experiment goes and if I end up looking so much more youthful than what I am. <laughs> so our final item is a piece of jewelry. It is moissanite and it came in this little gift box, which kind of looks nicer than what it actually is. It's just one of these little plastic things. I've, I've This is the first piece of jewelry I've had and what come in one of these containers. So it is kind of neat. It's just plastic. But then both sides here have, um, it kind of feels like saran wrap. And it was just, the necklace was just in a little pouch and put in there. And then this is just pressed close. So kind of a neat thing, but 
kind of thought it might be a fancier box for my my new moist night it does also come with the GRA certificate normally they come with a hard you know credit card sized card that says you know the number on it and stuff I only got this but that's fine I really there's nothing on here there's nothing on these cards that indicate what the piece of jewelry is I guess because it's for the actual stone unless you were to mark it down on these as you get them what the piece of jewelry was I, I you would never know what it was for so I, I mean I really these really are probably are kind of useless anyway so it is a moissanite necklace I paid $32.39 for this it is currently $35.98 it is 925 sterling silver it is a box chain with a marquee cut moissanite stone the listing did not have anything in it to say what the carat weight was of it so I, I don't know what that is but here is this a closer up look at the stone so the the necklace does have a little bit of an extender on it so the actual just box chain is about 17 and a half inches long and then with the extender it is about 19 and a half inches long the moissanite is about half an inch long and about a quarter of an inch in width I love this necklace I think it is just beautiful I have the the round cut moissanite and I really do like this this is what I wear every day I thought this would be nice for more of a dress and dress up going out kind of necklace just to change things up for when I'm going out for a night but I absolutely love it I think it is so so pretty the setting is just kind of open it's you know got a open back it's just beautiful I really really love it <laughs> I'm actually have been on the lookout to try and find a ring to match it so I did pull out my handy dandy moissanite or not more specifically moissanite tester but my uh, diamond tester machine so we've got it on ready to go like I said I don't know the size so I'm not a hundred percent sure what you know you've got to adjust the setting based on the chart on the back which is based off of what the ambient temperature is in the room that you're testing as well as the size of the stone but um, I'm, I'm gonna set it on the setting for if it was 0.6 of a carat and bigger and we'll see how it goes so see if it tests as a diamond Forgot. I gotta try and do this the other way so that it actually shows the display yay it's a diamond no <laughs> it's a moissanite but yeah so like I said I love this I think it is so pretty so sparkly and yeah I love it so maybe in a future video we will have a matching ring which I would love but yeah super super pretty that is all for today I hope you enjoyed if you've made it to the end thank you so much for watching I appreciate all of you so so much I appreciate all of my subscribers and would love to have some more subscribers so if you are not currently subscribed please hit that subscribe button and help my channel grow it would be wonderful <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you next time. Bye.